Hello everyone, welcome to another OpenTX Tyrannus tutorial video. What I'm going to be covering today is the trainer port on the QX7 and the QX7S and how you can use a 3.5mm audio cable to link up the two and have one radio control the weapon and the other radio control the drive. This is the setup that I use for pretty much all of my weapon robots and a lot of people, um, you know, even in the BattleBots class do this setup because it's just nice to have one person focusing strictly on the weapon and one person focusing strictly on the drive. So let's take a look at the radios and see how we set this up. Just a couple quick notes before we get started. This tutorial is going to be pretty specific to the Tyrannus QX7 and the QX7S. This is um, one of the S models. I think it should be pretty similar for the Q9 and other Tyrannus models, but just take that into consideration when you're watching this tutorial. However, this is one of the most popular radios being used right now. If we flip the radio over to the back, you can see that there's um, two little jacks here. We've got a headphone jack and then we have this other one. This is the trainer port over there and both of these radios have this. So that is going to be the trainer port and it is a standard three and a half millimeter audio jack. I went out and got this extra long kind of um, nylon braided cable off of Amazon and it's um, just really durable and it's really long and it packs up nicely and it's just a higher quality connector than you know most of the standard cable so I just have something like this in my um, carrying bag for the radios so that's what we'll be using to connect the two radios together so let's start and look at the setup on the first radio which will be the master radio Okay, so here is the master radio and I've got it turned on. Now the master radio is going to be one that you want to have always control everything, or have the option to control everything. So I would highly recommend that the master radio be the one that controls the drive and the weapon or the drive specifically. And you can hand off control to the weapon to the secondary radio. So this is going to be the master. So we're going to click the little hamburger. I'm going to go down and just create a new model. So hit enter, create model. Boom, cool. And then we're going to go page, and this is into page two. And if we go to the bottom, you just go the other way, go all the way to the bottom, you can see mode, master, jack. Uh, we have some other options here. We've got slave jack, master S bus, and uh, master CPPM. We're going to make sure we select master and jack. And just go ahead and hit enter. And um, let's move over to the slave radio. So here we are on the slave radio. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing by creating a new model, um, just to be consistent, really. And then we're going to go into page two. And then all the way at the bottom, we got trainer. Now I want to change this to slave. So that's going to be slave jack. And then we go ahead and exit out of here. And this one is good to go. We can um, go ahead and set this one aside. On the master radio, we need to set up the conditions and what controls get passed over to the slave. So from this main menu, we're going to click the hamburger and we're going to go back to page 10. And page 10 is our special function. So we're going to set a special function that says a specific switch will move a control over to the slave. Now, Little word of warning right here. I am a left-hander, so this is what I use for drive, and this is what I use for throttle. So yours will be a little bit different, but I'll explain how. So from the special functions, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. This is going to be our um, switch or whatever it is that's going to control the function. I'm going to use this switch right here, and all you have to do is kind of hit it. So in the down position, the radio will be normal, and in the far up position, that is going to be the trainer. So you just go ahead and hit enter there, and then we can move over to here, and we're going to go ahead and select trainer, and then we're going to hit enter, move over to here, and for me, this is the elevator control, that is my throttle. For you, if you're using the normal joystick over here, that is going to be throttle for you. So just make sure you select the right um, control that is applicable to what you are using for the weapon or whatever. So we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to go over here, and then we're going to check this. So this means when the switch is in this position, the trainer is going to send the elevator control over to the trainer or to the slave. So we're going to go ahead and hit exit. We're going to make a new one and we're going to do the down position. So now we're going to go down and we're going to do the same thing with the trainer. Yep. 
there we go. And so now when it's in the down position, it will not have that sent over to the slave. Now, if we go back to this main menu, you can see we don't have anything connected here, and this operates as we would expect in both positions. One other kind of fun thing here is if we go back to page 10, this is kind of for troubleshooting, you can see, let me go down a little bit, the bold one is the switch position. So I'm in the up position, now I'm in the down position. So you can see what's active and what's not active or what's inactive. So just something to kind of see if you're trying to troubleshoot some of these things. So now let's hook up the um, slave and see how it all operates. So here I have the master and the slave connected with the three and a half millimeter audio cable. And if we look over at the master, when I move the throttle or what I call the throttle up and down, you can see that it responds exactly the same way that you would want it to. And if we move over here, nothing really happens, which is exactly what it should be with this switch in the down position. We move the switch into the up position and now this radio will control the throttle. And you can see it is reflected on both screens. It goes up, it goes down. Now if we leave this in the up position, this one's in the down position, and we flip the switch, you can see it immediately goes to there. This one is still reflected as to what it is, but it has no effect on the master. So the way this could work is you have the master set up, and when you want to grant access to the weapon, you can just flip that switch up, this radio is now controlling that element, and this radio has no effect, and then you can just gain it back. Now, this can be used for pretty much any control service that you want on the radio. Just go into the special functions and configure it the way you want, but it's a really simple setup to have two operators controlling the same bot. So there you have it. This is how you set up a dual radio system using the trainer ports on a QX7 or QX7S radio. As I said in the intro, the steps should be pretty similar for any open TX radio and certainly anything with the three and a half millimeter audio jack. Um, it is a very useful thing to have a second operator. I know that once my wife started controlling the weapon on crippling depression, it was a lot easier to just focus on the drive and she would focus on ramping the weapon up, ramping it down, things like that. Um, I could also see it being very useful or very helpful for flippers, lifters, hammers, ax bots, or anything that requires kind of you know precise timing because it's one thing to you know drive around and get in the right position it's the other thing to be able to do that and also time a weapon at the same time plenty of people do it and plenty of people are perfectly successful doing it but if you have issues with that doing a dual radio setup is definitely a way to go so hopefully this helps out some people and um, as always thanks for watching check out my facebook page for updates to my channel and all that good stuff and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel consider doing so. Thanks for watching and see you next time.